What's going on? My name is Thomas Jordan. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit your podcast faster in Premiere Pro. Let's go. The first thing I edit is a little bit of an intro. I introduce myself and which episode number it is. And I usually do three takes and just take the best one. And just, I've been doing this long enough to know that just by looking that this is gonna be the right one. And one of the reasons that I do use Premiere Pro is because I know this thing like the back of my hand. I've been using it for almost 10 years. So instead of learning another software like Audacity or Adobe Audition, uh, I'm just gonna use Premiere. It has enough features in here to get the job done. Now there's a million ways to do this, but this is just how I do it. Now I am moving on to what the episode is about. And I did two takes here and I know for a fact that it's the second one that I want to do, ripple delete, and then just go back and check the audio and see if it sounds natural. So now that that's done, I'm telling you labeling is huge too, because as you see, this is now the main show intro that's been professionally done. Same with this, this could be shortened up a little bit. It's a lot of ripple delete. Ow. And we go back to, here's my audio. I use a Zoom H6n. I swear that is the best piece of podcasting equipment that I've gotten so far. It's only like 300, 320 bucks, depending on if you get it on sale or not, but it acts as a uh, recorder. It, like if you're doing video, uh, but I use it for my podcast. So if I go anywhere, I can travel. It's super easy. It's plug and go. It's up to four ports so I can have up to four people. But this microphone here is the one I use for the podcast and it's also plugged into my computer so it acts as an interface as well. So the thing is worth its weight in gold and I'll link it up in the description as well. Right here, it's late. my audio is labeled here. Her audio is here. And since it is from the Zoom, it like I don't have to sync or I don't have to do anything. And if you haven't checked out my podcast, it's called That's the Industry. And I interview creatives and professionals. Uh, so you can apply their expertise, but it's actually going through a rebrand right now. So it, uh, I did a whole year. I'm on the 52nd episode. I'm, I can't wait to start the podcast again, but this video will be out before it drops, but just be on the lookout and I'll link all the links in the description as well. All you can do now is just adjust where you want to. Uh, as long as your levels are good, they're not really peaking here, they're good to go. The only other thing I would do is I just use the fast forward button. Right here, I'm just looking for uh, the ums and the ahs. Then like just if, just useless filler words if, right here. Um, um, okay. And there's a big space here, so I can just kind of cut here and cut here and then ripple delete. I'm not gonna do this whole episode because usually my episodes are anywhere between 30 and 60 minutes. This one's definitely a little longer, but that's all you do. And then I have a, what I call a thank you lead magnet right here. Once that's done, I just zoom in right here hit the out key sequence and then render audio. And when it's done rendering, you just go to export and H.264 is your video source. So obviously you're not gonna do that. You go to the MP3 and depending how on your RSS feed and everything like that, I usually do this one just because you can't really tell that much of a difference and then just export and you're done. All right, so a quick recap. Normally I have a few things to go over, but honestly, all I really have to tell you is to shoot as many episodes as you possibly can, whether that's a solo episode or if you're doing interviews. The reason being is because you're killing two birds with one stone. You're upping your skills as a podcaster, as an interviewer, and you're gonna have to edit every single episode, whether that's in Premiere Pro, whether that's in Audacity, whether that's in Adobe Audition, you've gotta learn the software somewhere, whether you're just starting out or you're already advanced there. I mentioned this in the video, there's a million ways to do it. But if you're already creating video content, I feel like you already have a leg up because you know how to edit video. It's the literally, as you saw the same exact thing, except there's no picture. It's a lot easier in my opinion. You know all the shortcuts. So just do as many episodes as you possibly can. Also, if this is your first time on this channel, I do tutorials, product reviews, and interviews to help you turn your passion into profit using online video. And to help you out with this, I have a free gift for you. It's a free download. It is my YouTube quick start guide. It shows you how to start your YouTube channel from start to finish. Stop saying you're gonna start tomorrow and start today. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.